Hey guys, Lorcan here from Mitchell Music. Just going to make a quick video about belief and the importance of belief and how maybe you can harness it and develop it. I was having a conversation with a guy last weekend and he questioned and he suppose he stated that it's a problem now with people his age. He's in his early to mid 20s and that he doesn't have a lot. He has a lack of belief in himself and what he can do. And <clears throat> he asked me how I harness my belief and um, any advice and tips I had. So it was an interesting, I suppose, um, question and conversation because it's lack of belief, lack of self-belief, lack of self-esteem is lack of confidence is common with all ages, not just in your teens or early twenties. It's we have a big, I think, problem with lack of belief and believing in ourselves and what we can do. And um, it was, yeah, good to be able to talk about it because I was trying to show him or talk about where I came from and how I ended up I suppose doing what I'm doing now and it's still nothing compared to what I will be doing but it's yeah getting on the path to fulfillment success whatever you want to call it um yeah there's a huge significance I never really thought much about it until I started making drums and started on this journey six years ago the importance of your mental health and if you can have a positive mental health because that kind of cheerleader in your brain is very significant and very important society around us we see there's so much negative energy there's so much negative emotion there's so much negativity that it's easy to adapt that and from when we're born for the to the school systems for the years and years of conditioning <clears throat> excuse me it becomes part of our narrative and our narrative then becomes more negative than positive. So if we want to achieve anything in life, if we want to grow, if we want to change, if we want to go deep into ourselves and understand more about ourselves, we have to build confidence, self-belief and self-esteem. And it was something that I did, um, I suppose not kind of organically when I started making drums in 2014 in my dad's garage, I was just playing YouTube videos songs and music and stuff and then every now and again a motivational inspirational video would come on and the guy would be talking whether it's Eric Thomas or Les Brown or the multitude of others and they talked about their journey their story and the path or the the challenge to success and it kind of it allowed me to understand that the kind of the failure is part of the learning it's not final it's not fatal it is just a stepping stone and that if you believe you can achieve what you set out to do and you work towards it, you may not get the desired results you thought you would, but you would get something and you would be closer to the results you wanted than if you never started. So a lot of these videos, a lot of these guys kind of, I kept feeding it into myself because I think the, the belief muscle, the self-esteem muscle, it's the same as any part of your anatomy that you need to build and grow. It's like lifting weights from the gym, eating a healthy diet, like, these parts of us we need to work on daily because it's important for us to believe in ourselves because we need to believe in who we are and what we're doing because sometimes society or people mightn't see the idea you have or the service you want to provide or even just your individuality which I think is a big thing too because we need to um, we need to accept who we are and be proud of the individuals we are and I think that was a big thing when I started back on this path. I kind of went through a big phase of transition that I was like, okay, I, the old me wasn't suiting me anymore. It wasn't fulfilling the purpose that I wanted or I felt I was happy with. So I decided to, yeah, to try and review the thoughts and ideas and change it. And that was what, six, seven years ago. So I'm still on that course. I'm still on the path I haven't, um, got to the end I don't think there will be an end until I'm not here on this plane anymore but I've started and I think that's when your belief then comes with consistency <clears throat> excuse me because you do something every day you become a, a kind of the confidence builds in what you're doing and what you're learning and how you're doing it and the more you do it the more your confidence comes and the more consistency comes and like that was one thing over the last six years with my manufacturing what I've been doing that I have become more confident in the products I've made, but I haven't been consistent in the other side, the promotion, the sales, the marketing, all these other areas that are essential for um, creating a, a viable business and having a business that works. So 
yeah, the belief area then is, I suppose, is contrary to that. Maybe there was parts of me that didn't believe fully in my product or service and that I've had to kind of reevaluate and re-question. But yeah, I 100% believe in what I'm doing and the power of music and the importance of music. And I feel um, I want to contribute and pay a part or play a part to growing music and growing its popularity because yeah, I feel music is very important. Music is very good for you and music is fun more so than anything else so i'm excited for the, the future ahead and yeah i believe in myself and that i can do it even if it mightn't be there might be a lot of roadblocks or speed bumps or whatever that if you stay moving forward and you stay working that you will find reasons to believe and i think that's kind of just to finish up the the analogy of you have to believe before you see and that i think is the hardest part because it's it's kind of you have to believe that you can do it or achieve it or be whatever before the reality kicks in and that's something that our friends or loved ones or families can't merge or they can't own because they're not us they're not within our skin and be like well i can do that it mightn't i don't know how i'm going to do it right now but if i work towards it and learn and grow and constantly evolve then yeah anything is possible and I think that's your your belief kind of feeds into that constant movement and the more you believe the more you achieve and then you grow as a person you might grow financially your your options grow and then you become the person you want to be or the person you really are sorry because that comes back then to the being original and being yourself and like believing in that I am valuable I am enough and that yeah i am significant and yeah belief kind of comes into all these things so yeah i hope it's helped somebody or there's something there that you can take away and yeah um go on to youtube and just check out all the videos like there's so much like books there's videos that you can do that you can work on every day and just watch read listen and feed that up and i know a lot of it for us non-americans there's a lot of what might seem kind of Americanisms, but it helps and it works. And if there's anything that can aid you in the direction that you're going, then yeah, I highly recommend you, um, yeah, you trying it out. Anyway, um, hope that helps if it helps at all. And we're speaking to you soon. Have a great day. Thank you.